Touch the leg. Welcome to Tibet this week, our weekly news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines first. His Holiness the Dalai Lama begins teaching at Lei Lada. His Holiness the Dalai Lama sends condolences to Lord David Trimble's family. China sentences Tibetan entrepreneur to 18 years imprisonment. Permanent Strategy Committee holds second meeting. Central Tibetan Administration mourns the demise of former Tibetan diplomat Pinzo Tendin. Office of Tibet Taiwan jointly hosts seminar analyzing Buddhist psychology. Office of Tibet Brazil welcomes representatives of Menzi Kang. Representative Dr. Arya visits Japan Parliamentary Support Group's office. Tibetans in Switzerland pray for former political prisoner Jigmi Gyatso. His Holiness the Dalai Lama began the three-day teachings on Shantideva's Guide to Bodhisattva's Way of Life at Shivatil Teaching Ground in Choklamsar, Lei Lata on Thursday this week. His Holiness is conferring Avalokiteshvara empowerment on last day of the teaching that will be followed by long life offering to His Holiness by the Ladakh Buddhist Association and Ladakh Gonpa Association. His Holiness on Saturday last week made pilgrimages to the Chogang, the principal Buddhist temple, the Jama Masjid and Anjuman Imamiya Mosque and the Moravan Church in Leh. On the morning of Monday this week, His Holiness the Dalai Lama consecrated the newly constructed Thixi Library and Learning Center, a project for which he conducted the groundbreaking ceremony in July 2018. His Holiness the Dalai Lama offered his heartfelt condolences on the passing away of Nobel Laureate Lord David Trimble on Tuesday this week. His Holiness lauded Lord Trimble's vision, courage and his realistic approach in bringing peace to Northern Ireland and said that it will be a fitting tribute to him if we can continue to work to resolve differences in a spirit of understanding, accommodation and respect keeping in mind that we are all part of the oneness of humanity. Chinese authorities have falsely accused and sentenced another Tibetan in Tibet. According to Tibetan Center for Human Rights and Democracy, the Chinese authorities have sentenced Tenzin Chambel to 18 years in prison on trumped up charge of inciting separatism. The 45-year-old Tibetan entrepreneur and philanthropist Tinsin Chambil is from Nakchu City's Sengi district in the so-called Tibet Autonomous Region. Chambil has been reportedly been held incommunicado for more than a year by the Chinese authorities since his arrest on 30th March 2018 until his official sentencing on 24th May 2019. It is also reported that the Chinese authorities have confiscated all of his private property and he is currently being held in Cheshire prison in Lhasa. Chembe was reported to have been detained at Lhasa's Konkar airport after returning from a successful business trip to Tengdu. He has also been involved in a variety of philanthropic and cultural activities including protecting Tibetan culture and environment, promoting a sense of unity among Tibetans and helping the poor and needy. On Wednesday this week, the Permanent Strategic Committee of the 16th Kasha held its three-day meeting in Dharamshala. The meeting was chaired by Si Kyung Pemba Tsering and attended by all the members of the committee. The committee reviewed and discussed progress of the ongoing strategic programs and deliberated on the future advocacy initiatives as per the objectives of the committee. Subsequent to the dissolution of the previous task force on Sino-Tibetan negotiations by the 16th Kasha, 
This new permanent strategic committee was established in its place. The committee held its first meeting in November last year in Dharamshala. The Central Tibetan Administration mourned the demise of a former Tibetan diplomat, Pinzo Thuntin, who passed away on Thursday this week in New York. Born in the capital city of Tibet, Lhasa, Pinzo Thuntin joined the then Tibetan government in exile in 1964 as an official serving the then Tibetan Foreign Affairs Office. He joined the office of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, New York in 1965 and served as the representative of the office of His Holiness the Dalai Lama in the office of Tibet, New York from 1967 to 1973. He later served as the representative at the Bureau of His Holiness the Dalai Lama in New Delhi from 1973 to 1976. Office of Tibet Taiwan in collaboration with Taiwan Psychoanalytic Association organized the first ever seminar analyzing the correlation between Tibetan Buddhism and psychology on Saturday last week. Representative Bawa Gelsang Gelsen chaired the seminar while highlighting His Holiness the Dalai Lama's keen interest in science. Several Buddhist scholars and countries renowned psychologists participated in the debate that explored ideas and mechanism of Buddhism and psychology to holistically treat problems of mental illness. Representative Bawa Kelsen Gelsen on Tuesday this week attended the Katakalan Forum 2022 Indo-Pacific Security Dialogue co-organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Taiwan and the Prospect Foundation in Taipei. The forum was attended by many leaders and scholars from different countries and Representative Gelsen was able to establish a good relationship with Taiwan lawmakers and other experts present at the forum. Representative Jingmit Siring of the Office of Tibet Brazil welcomed four member Mexican team who were on a tour to Sao Paulo, Brazil from 2nd to 13th of this month to disseminate Tibetan traditional medicine and astro science knowledge. The 12 days events, which included lectures, discussions and consultations, were attended by not only Brazilian laymen but also health practitioners and professionals as well as members of several Buddhist organizations in Brazil. Representative Jingmit Sering also accompanied Menzi Kang team to Rio de Janeiro from 14th to 18th of this month, engaging in several other discussions, lectures and consultations. Representative Dr. Tsewan Gelbu Arya of the Office of Tibet for Japan and East Asia visited Japan Lower House Parliament Building on Thursday this week and met Mr. Ishikawa Akimasa, General Secretary of the All Japan Parliamentary Support Group for Tibet. Representative Arya personally visited the Parliamentary Support Group's office to convey the solidarity of the Tibetans in and outside Tibet to the family members of the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and the party for the tragedy. Representative Arya further updated Mr. Ishikawa on the conduct and resolution passed during the 8th World Parliamentary Convention on Tibet on the 22nd and 23rd of June held in Washington, D.C. Last Sunday, the Tibetans in Switzerland held a prayer service to pay respect to the prominent Tibetan former political prisoner Jimmy Gyazo, who died on 2nd July in his hometown, Kanlo, Tibet. The prayer service was attended by Representative Tile Chugi, the Tibet Bureau Geneva, former members of Tibetan Parliament in Exile, Vice President of Tibetan Community of Switzerland and Liechtenstein. President of Regional Association of Cherkasum and members of Tibetan community. The prayer service was led by Ken Rinpoche Geshe Thupin Legman and monks residing at the Tibet Institute, Rigon. While addressing the gathering, Representative Tile Chiki appreciated the initiative of Regional Deme Association for organizing the prayer service and recalled indomitable courage of Tibetan people inside Tibet and urge for united collective efforts in strengthening voices for freedom in Tibet. Permanent Tibetan former political prisoner Jimmy Gyatso, also known as Labrang Jimmy, died on 2nd July 2022 due to multiple health complications resulting from torture and inhuman treatment sustained while in Chinese prison. 
Prior to this, he had exposed patterns of severe rights violations by China in Tibet, including torture in custody through his video recorded testimony circulated widely on social media platforms. That is all for this week. See you next time and have a great weekend.